Hey, welcome to Afton Woodworks. I want to bring you another uh, video and once again another cutting board that I've made. Um, I keep saying to myself and to you as viewers, I'm getting tired of cutting boards, but uh, it's always a nice quick project with I think very nice results. And I continue to find that when you give a cutting board to somebody, they really like it. It's, uh, they're really um, enamored with it. Now this one, I am not giving up because I really like this one. So this is a design and somebody on Facebook when I posted the picture of this, pointed out that it was in um, Wood Magazine, I think he said November of 2007. I was looking through back issues electronically and I snapped a picture, a screenshot of it, but I didn't capture where I got it. So thank you to that, uh, that contributor on Facebook appointing that. I give the credit to Wood Magazine. I really liked this design because it was very simple. You know, a sil uh, simple, uh, elegant curve here, matching on this side, and then this inlay or this uh, inside curve to marry the two species together. Now, I've been very prevalent in my cutting boards using maple and walnut and I changed it up this time and I used bird's eye maple which I've never really worked with. Um, let me bring it closer to you. I thought the figuring of the wood was absolutely gorgeous and um, you wouldn't typically see this in a cutting board. It's an expensive piece of wood. Um, probably don't hold me. I know I'll get comments on this, but I bet you it's $15 to $20 a board foot. So it's not economically feasible to make volumes of cutting boards uh, out of bird's eye maple. But I had a piece and I wanted to do something unique and I think it turned out well. Instead of using maple, I used lace wood this time. And again, I, I really like this piece. When it showed up from Bell Forest Products, I did a video on, uh, on the piece and I think it's just gorgeous. So I took a small sliver of it, uh, about what, 10 inches here, and ripped it down on the band sides. It was about two inches thick, so I was able to get two nice pieces of which I used one of. And then I did plugs uh, to match. So I got a plug cutter. It's a cheap, you know, it's a cheap bit that you can make your own plugs. So I thought it turned out really nice. Um, I think the key here is to marry this piece identically to this piece. And I don't know how you would traditionally do that, like in 2007, but how I did it in 2019 is I used my Shaper Origin, if you can see this here. So the Shaper Origin is a handheld CNC machine. So you, uh, you use an SVG, I had somebody, I'm not a, I want to spend more time in the shop, so I don't actually design a lot of my, um, I don't design the CAD work is what I'm saying. I had somebody quickly w uh, mock this up. And basically when you pull it into the CNC machine, you can cut this piece out, right? As an outside cut, and then cut this piece out as an outside cut. And I thought it was very interesting because I was very nervous about bringing them together because with the bird's eye maple, it's a very hard wood. And I got a lot of chatter on the maple on the inside of this cut. Managed it pretty well. Uh, this, uh, the lace wood was beautiful to cut. It's almost like cherry. I mean, it's kind of a medium uh, um, hardness. So I like it and it cuts really nice. Whereas maple, can be difficult to cut in those outside cuts at the end grain. But when it came together, I was shocked. It, it, it married nicely together. The chatter marks that I had in the maple were really hidden uh, when I brought this together. So I thought it came together very nice. Um, I did the plugs on this side. This side I did not. So I like to, if we were to use this cutting board, which I've given to my wife, We'll, use, we'll cut on this side, okay? The other thing I did do is I did uh, laser engrave my initials there. I'm using the Glowforge, if you can see that there. It's a new piece uh, a new piece of equipment in my shop and I'm learning that well. And uh, I've been making a lot of cuts. Um, the verdict is still out, it's an expensive piece of equipment, right? But the verdict is still out. 
on how I feel about it. I really like the Shaper Origin. Um, you know, it's a CNC machine. A lot of people have CNC machines, X-Carve, Lagunas, great machines. The thing I like about this, uh, the Shaper Origin is that you're still working the wood yourself, right? Yes, the computer is making the fine cuts, but um, two things. One, you still feel like you're part of the workpiece as, uh, as opposed to sitting there watching the machine do the work, which is the Glowforge. I mean, you sit there and watch it. Uh, and two, it doesn't take up any space. It's the size of a router, right? So I had an X car for a while, the big, uh, the big one, and it took up just too much room in the shop. So I, I sold that. So just to finish out here, um, bring this close again. Bird's eye maple, lace wood, uh, married together. I think in a unique curve here. Nice rounded uh, hole here, and. Um, decorative plugs on the front side. So hope you enjoyed it. Hope this inspires you to get out in the workshop and make something. Uh, and until the, the next video, thanks for joining me.